hello hello my good people i hope you're blessed and you're happy wherever you are and whatever you're doing i'm happy and i thank god for everything that he has done for me and my family so today we are going to speak about challenges that women face when they want to become mothers in marriage yeah there's so many challenges uh not all of them knows but few they know what it means and what is what i'm trying to say and um in marriages many things happen or many things happens oh becoming a mother is something sweet and everyone is yearning to become a mother yeah or everyone would love to become a mother i thank god I'm a mother of one and those are my blessings from above. It did not come just easily. I prayed to Jesus and he answered my prayers. Remember in this life nothing comes easily. Yeah. So, there are many people outside there that are suffering in marriage because of baby. Because of they want to become mothers. Yeah? But remember one thing. Only Jesus provide for children. No man can give you a child. When you say I want a child, and then they say, "Okay, let me give you a child." It's Jesus who blesses your womb. And from there you become pregnant. And when you become a pregnant, you become a mother after 9 months. or 8 months some weeks um what i'm trying to say is this becoming a mother is something sweet something delicious hmm <laughs> you imagine something delicious yeah but in this marriage women become they become something else they want they want and when you're married some families they can't let you be like uh, you're waiting for some years to have babies or some years to have a child they just want when you come after 3 months you are pregnant Remember God did not create the world and everything in it at one day No He took time to create the world and everything Yeah So women also take time there are those who take long time to conceive there are those who take shorter time and when god says it's not time nothing will happen you need to be patient yeah by his love i know he bless your womb
in some marriages outside there um women are being tortured women are being mocked women are being humiliated because they don't have children they will call you prostitute you aborted many many times you did many things in the past of which you did not do any any at all they will speak ill of you of which you've never done something wrong to them because of a child people will talk bad of you just because of a child and you never wronged someone you never did anything to them remember that children comes from god hmm? hannah waited for so so long penina came in he gave birth to many many children but no one knew the children no one knew the children's name but they were many children but remember god was still with hana until the end so and god decided to bless hana and when hana gave birth he gave birth to a bouncing baby boy and the baby was called Samuel and he was known all over until now he still known and forever it will still last what i'm trying to tell my fellow women is that be patient when you pray for a child nothing comes so quick and last take courage in your marriage have that peace of mind and let jesus take control of everything they will do anything they want to you some marriages women are being chased away because they can't give birth of which i know they will give birth when jesus says yes now it's time yeah others are being they 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 bring for you a second wife that woman will come and give birth and you're still there waiting for the lord i tell you my fellow woman my fellow lady when times comes for jesus to bless your womb he will bless you and it is not that too long the way you see god will bless you he never created you for a mistake he never created you the way you see you are something good you are a tree of fruits and you must bear fruits in jesus might name so women women take courage It's not easy. It's not easy. Let them mock you. Let them do what they can do. But I know our Father in heaven, our Father in heaven, he will never leave any woman to suffer. He will never leave you to die in pain. I know one day one time 
God will, will wipe away all your tears. You've been crying for so many years. You've been wondering why, why me? And why others are getting children? And why others are happy? Some of them, they went the same story you're going through. And some of them, they did not. But remember, no child asks for bread and is being given stone. God will surely bless your womb. So mothers in this world, take good care of your children, their gift from God. Please keep them safe. Let them enjoy their mothers. Let them enjoy having you in their life. And may you enjoy having them or having him or her in your life. Be courageous, stay strong, and that time is coming when God is going to bless your womb. Don't be disappointed. He works at his own best time. And sooner than you, sooner than you expect, you will become a mother sooner than you expect you will carry your baby sooner than you expect you will carry that gift that you are longing for in jesus mighty name amen bless you as you're expecting your gift your blessings in jesus mighty name shalom shalom shalom